Hey, today I'm going to go over using guides in Adobe Illustrator. So go ahead and open Adobe Illustrator. I have CS5, but this can work with other versions, you know, CS2, CS3, CS4, that's fine. Go ahead and go to File New. And I'll just keep it at the default here. Print, letter size, that's fine. And I'll click OK. What, first, I want you to notice this points right here, units. You can change that to measurement. We'll be dealing with rulers and guides today, but this is one area where you can actually change to say pikas. If you're designing a publication, it's good to keep elements, you know, one pika apart. For example, like uh, you know, captions, photos, uh, gutters between columns. Uh, that's just one of the rules, unless you're intentionally flushing elements, um, like you know, some bold text on top of a shape or a photo. Um, inches, points, you could use any of those, but I'll just leave it at points for default for now and hit OK. And you'll notice right away we have the toolbar over here up at the top. As usual, if you don't see it, go to Window and then Tools. We also have the Control Palette up here, that palette. And we want to be able to see the ruler here so we can pull down some guides. So first what you want to do um, is go to View and then Rulers and then Show Rulers. If your rulers are already showing up, then it'll say view rulers, hide rulers, so just leave it as is if that's the case. So I'll just hit show rulers, and you'll notice that we have some rulers up here in our default uh, measurement unit. And if you want to pull a guide down, this doesn't print out when you print it out to say a PDF or print it out on a piece of paper or whatever. These guys are just for the designer, uh, something to go by. So with an arrow like this, just click and drag, and it will bring down a guide. It looks like that, okay? You can still click and drag it and move it around, okay? Click and drag another one, and you can pull one from the left-hand side as well. Now the point of these is to divide the space into sections. Um, that would be useful, like say for example the rule of thirds is a design principle. You could measure it out, so you divide this area by three and this by three and you actually put it exactly at the rule of thirds. If you don't like that unit of measurement, you can always go to File, Document Setup, and then where it says Units, uh, just, let's just say PICAs, and hit OK, then it changes it to PICAs, right there, you notice right there. Also, you can reset this. If you click over here in the upper left-hand corner and click and drag it, you'll notice now the zero is here. If you want to reset it to that top left-hand corner of the document, just double-click over here, and it will reset so the zero is right there along the document there. Okay. You can also, of course, click and drag these once they're uh, created. You can right-click over them and the PC um, and Mac you can just click and hold and you can um, for example do hide guides as a shortcut lock the guides if you want to lock them in place and you can do a couple different options there um, if you want to you can also go to window or actually view and go back to rulers you could hide the rulers even if you've added the guides in there you can also go to uh, view guides and then hide guides, lock guides, um, clear them or release them. Okay, so and you can also even open up a grid as well. If you hit grid, it'll open up this grid that's useful when you're wanting to kind of design onto a grid. Snap to point will just snap onto certain parts. I'm just hit hide grid to get rid of it there. And of course, you can go to view. And if you do hide guides, that'll hide any of the guides that are out there, whether it's uh, you know manually put in ones. Um, and you can also go up to the top, show transparency grid. A lot of these you may not use in um, you know simple projects, but it's good just to be familiar with them. You could also do sh hide artboard, hide the edges, but I like to be able to know where the edge of you know the artboard is when you're designing and you're going to print out to say PDF. So that's the basics of using you know guides in Illustrator. 
Um, you can try a couple different ways of inserting them in um, and implementing them. You can do the rule of thirds and of course you can also divide it into various um, subsections. If you want to click and drag one off, you can click and drag it and pull it off the artboard as well. Or you could just clear them and uh, create new ones as well. Thank you.